Hi, today we will be discussing a problem on linked list. So, we all know that what is a linked list. A linked list is a collection of nodes which is terminated by a special node called as null node. So, this is the termination point and this particular start of the list is always called as head of the list and every node has one pointer which points to the next node and that will point to the immediately next node of that particular node so if we are at head we can always traverse to all the nodes of the linked list using the next pointer and get the data out of that so linked list is a collection of nodes which are linked through next pointers in each of the node now the question here is we have been given two linked lists let's say this is linked list 1 called as L1 this is linked list 2 called L2 both of these linked lists are sorted if you see both of them are given linked lists are sorted the ask of the question is given two linked lists sorted linked list merge them together and create a linked list 3 which is again sorted so output of this particular operation on these particular two linked list will be the output will be like this so this is called merging of two sorted linked lists into one but the best ask of the problem is that we have to do it without using any extra space or a constant extra space not proportional to the number of nodes in the two linked lists so the complexity may be n plus m that is the m and n the number of the nodes in the respective L1 and L2 linked lists but the space complexity should be O of 1 it should not be in terms of N and M so that is the ask of the question as we saw if I draw two linked lists here so first we have to find out the head of the resultant linked list what will be the head of the resultant linked list resultant linked list will have head with these two nodes because these will be the two smallest elements in these two linked lists so head will be one of these two so what we'll do we'll compare the first node nodes of the two linked list and find out which will be the head so if l1 slash data or data of l1 is greater than l2 slash data then which which should be the head because l2 is less l2 should be the head equals to l2 else head equals to l1 so this is the first step now if you see we have added one node into the link list so the final link list if i call this as l3 then this is my final link list right so we have already added a load node into the final link list how many nodes now remaining our merging now remains of this part of the linked list and whole of this second linked list now the second node which has to be added into the linked list has to be either the 6 in this linked list or 5 into the this linked list again we will compare l1 data and l2 data and based on that we will add that into the linked list so if i say save the pointer called as like say result which i call it as result so result will point me to the current node which has been added to the linked list in this case it will be pointing to 3 so result is round right now pointing to 3 so results next will be one of these two nodes and these two nodes the one of among these two nodes will be selected by this condition so if l1 data is greater than l1 l2 data then the results next will be l2 node and if other way around l1 is less than l2 then results next will be l1 node now let's say in this case we will be adding l2 node so results result will point to l2 and l2 will be incremented to point to 6 right now l1 is pointing to 6 l2 is again pointing to 6 now we can select any one of these and the, here result will move and point to this so results next will be any one of these two nodes again we will put 6 here and result will be there now let's say we have put 6 of l1 so l2 will be pointing to 6 and l1 
one will be pointing to nine. So which node will be the next node to be added into the result list? It will be L2's node that is six. Again, six will be added and the result will be updated. Now results next will be one of these two nodes, this or this. Again, we will be adding seven and result will be here. Results next will be any one node of this or this. So eight will be added. Now eight's next will be any one node of this or this. So nine will be added. Now results next will be any one node of between 11 and 19. So 11 will be added. You're getting that, right? Why 11 is added? Because 11 is less as compared to 19. So nine, uh, 11 will be added and the pointer will be moved forward. Now 15 and 19 are compared then 15 will be added into the next point and at the end 15 has been like this linked list is finished. This is null. So all the nodes which are remaining onto the other linked list are added as such. So there is only one node which is remaining and we will put null at the end. Algorithm for adding a node or the merging of two linked lists into a third node, third linked list. So the idea here is we'll keep track of the result and always the number of nodes which are to be merged will decrease by one and the results next will be pointing to the, the head of the next linked list which is formed by the less number of nodes. So let's see how it is coded into the code. So if you see best way to implement this kind of algorithm is recursive way because whatever we are doing onto the n number of nodes we are again doing it to the n minus one nodes. We will arrange it into a recursion algorithm and see how it can be implemented. I will write a function which returns the head of the link list and the name of the function will be merge list. It will take two parameters that is node star l1 that is link list 1 and node star l2 that is link list 2. Now what we will do? We will have a pointer called as result initially declared as null. So this will be the pointer which will be moving forward right as we saw in the uh, explanation of the algorithm. Now as we saw we have two conditions if l1 data is less than l2 data. If this is the case what should be the result? What should be the result? The result should be l1 and as we saw result next should be what? We should implement the same merge function onto the link list but one node less in L1 and all the nodes in L2. So again we will be calling merge list and L1 will be moved one, nay, one node ahead but L2 will remain as such because no node have been merged into the result. So this is one condition else if the other way around L1 data is greater than L2 so result will be L2 and results next now we have to move one pointer onto the L2 list so we will call the same function again and L1 will remain as such and L2 so this is the crux of the algorithm and what we will do we will return at every merging of the point once we have finished we have reached null one of these linked list will finish and the base case will be when we implemented this recursive algorithm where is the base case we forgot to write base case so we'll write here what are the base case if one of the linked list goes null l1 is equals to equals to null so what will be the base condition here if l1 is null what we should return we should return the l2 that means all the nodes which are remaining in l2 should be returned and other way around if l2 is null that means the second linked list has turned uh, null then we will return l1 this base case makes sense when let's say i have a null linked list and there are two elements into l2 so a is null we will just return l2 which will be the result of our whole merge operation but it might happen that there is one node here right on l1 so we will run into null here before we run into null in L1. So when L2 runs into null, we will add all the nodes of the L1 into the, uh, the resultant link list without worrying how many nodes are there. Once a link list turns null, all the other nodes will be added onto the resultant list because anyway they will be 
shorter and they will, they will be greater than the other linked list because it, they are still remaining when the other linked list has turned null. What will be the complexity of this algorithm? The complexity of this algorithm is in time complexity terms, it is O of n plus m because n plus m, I am saying m is the number of nodes in L1 and m is the number of nodes in L2. What is the space complexity? If we see there is no, no explicit user space complexity here, that we are using only one extra pointer that is result, but inherently there is a space complexity of, re, of recursion. That is the kernel stack being used. So this is not a very good code for production because if I have n node which are in L1 and m nodes which are in L2 and the head of the L1 is greater than the head of all the elements or not head all the elements of L2 then what will happen the stack depth which we will be using will be proportional to the n elements and it might happen that we might end up using in the worst case m plus n stacked frames in order to merge these two linked lists if the elements are alternately smaller and greater than in two linked lists so there is an inherent space requirement of stack, uh, stack. Uh, so this is not a production level code it is just for the interview you can't implement into the production of live environment because the number of nodes will be very large in that case the other uh, implementation of this algorithm is iterative uh, implementation that is very simple to implement but a uh, tricky a bit tricky so we'll take another lecture for uh, that and another video i'll create for that particular problem and upload it Thank you very much for watching, do subscribe and learn more.